worst day of surfing is better than probably the best day at work. This is what I do. I'm a surfer and your life pretty much revolves around it. So you have to be there at just the right moment to catch the perfect wave. I'm just posing as Matt Costa. He sat up in the hotel and I said, I'm going to go down there and I'm going to ruin your reputation. I'm just going to talk about freaking driving five Hummers and <laughs> ruining the earth. We're all environmentalists. Everybody likes clean water and we all depend on it. So I think whether people know it or not, they all love the environment. Yeah. So you surf. I do not well, but I, I do surf. You get to see some pretty amazing parts of the world through surfing. How's it going, Rob? It's good. Can't complain. We're in Hawaii. You know? This particular sport's totally dependent upon nature and nature's beautiful creations. That's what makes it so special. Every day is different. Have you had any like gnarly water experiences where you found yourself swimming in strange things? <laughs> Yeah, you know, it happens. I was just in Bali the other day, you know, um, like syringes, needles, like washed up on the beach. Probably the worst story is uh, surfing in uh, sewage. Sewage? Yes, raw sewage. I went in and like by the evening I was already feeling like kind of achy and kind of yucky and by the next day I had like flu. Then I started getting this rash. There's stuff everywhere, like California where we live. If it rains, the runoff, you can't be in the water for days because you get sick, it's so polluted. Just standard trash, and anything and everything that you don't see at a dump, see in the ocean. Maybe that one little piece of paper that they throw out might not seem like a lot, but... It all adds up. Yeah, it all adds up. My hair already is long, so it gets kind of dreaded by the surf, but... I mean, my hair was getting stuck together and I tried to comb it out and I lost like a whole bunch of my hair. Disgusting experiences yeah, while I'm like in the water. One weird. time when I was in the bathtub, there was a spider in there and that was pretty crazy. Okay, so I guess I get to tell you my story. Mine wasn't surfing though, mine was, I was sailing in the Caribbean. And so I'm like, this is pretty gross because this is where all these uh, sailboats kind of more and all of a sudden I realized that I'm like swimming and shit. I've got like turrets coming at me and I'm like, oh my god, I was so disgusted. I just wanted to get out of there. Yeah, you probably got a fresh flush too, that sounds like. When you get a new front that comes in and the rain comes and that's when a good swell comes too and they always tell you not to surf like the first few days if the rivers open up and you can't help it so the waves are so good sometimes we surf and then almost every time I get like a really bad ear infection or sick or something so that's a drag. And actually in Huntington Beach where I live you know there's always all sorts of uh, like viral outbreaks and things like in the waters there like people will get like infections and things. Most people don't go in the ocean. Most people go down the beach and maybe get their hair wet. Out of sight, out of mind, really. Seems like once people realize like how wrong or bad something is, it's like everybody comes together and tries to do what's right. Yeah. I like to have hope in humanity, you know.